to ensure that our institutions are equipping graduates in this way. Um, thank you, Ann. Earlier I mentioned the conversations with um, two high school principals um, in the state of Georgia that were within 30 miles of each other who had such different views of what a global citizen was. And so I guess Ann er earlier had asked you to, to ask the tough questions of your schools on, on what is it that you consider. I, I, I think you'd be surprised to find the variety in the answers and the gap in the answers of what, uh, what um, perception of their job. And, and it may be that in Georgia that that principal was correct. He said, my, you know, we have a carpet mill nearby, and my job is to make sure that everybody that leaves this high school is ready to go work in that carpet mill, versus the principal who said there's a poultry processing plant close by. I, I, there are enough people here who can work at that poultry processing plant, but my job is to make sure that these students leave this campus prepared for, for other challenges. I think as state legislators, um, the, the first thing is, and, and it's what we all talked about, it has to start with K through 12. There can be no more excuses, and maybe providing choice to your families to be able to send their children to a school that holds them to the high standards, that has the long hours, that makes sure that everybody, you can't graduate high school today and be ready for the new world of work. Art mentioned that already. I mean, factory floor jobs require um, that post-secondary education. So step one is make sure that there are no excuses for K through 12. Step two is make sure that your college campuses are keeping college affordable for the citizens that they're meant to serve. Don't let them get mission creep and start wanting to be everything to everybody. There is a role for all the different types of institutions that are, that are in your geography. Um, but also then finally focus on what is it that the taxpayers um, are getting. I, I know in my corporate life that shareholders started moving to say, I want to see what my money is doing and I want to see where my money is going. Consumers are doing the same thing today. They want to know where their money is going and what they're getting in return for their money. I think American families have to have an answer. If I'm going to choose to go into debt, I want to make sure that what I'm learning is going to make me relevant to the workforce, and I want to make sure that what I'm taking is going to get me a job that can uh, enable me to pay back my student loans. So those are the three things that I would say. Don't take any excuses on K through 12. Make sure that your colleges are not engaged in mission creep and, and that they're managing the citizens of your geography that they're meant to serve. And then make sure that whatever they do to keep it affordable, that it doesn't compromise on quality. Yeah, let me uh, sort of amplify on that. What, what I would say as a legislator to the uh, public institutions in my state is what are the outcomes? What, what value have you added to the lives of these students. And I'd look at it in two ways. First, what's the graduation rate? How, what percentage are not graduating at all or dropping out? And if those who are graduating, how long is it taking? Are there courses available? And then even more than graduation rate is what what are the outcomes? You can find that out. I mean, are they pa if there are exams that need to be passed, are they what percentage are passing the exams? And compare that to other uh, states, maybe other states or other institutions. Which ones are doing better than others in terms of, uh, of outcomes on, you know, exams, I say, for engineers or pharmacists or other fields that have exams? But if not, what kind of jobs are they getting? And, and I would actually talk to employers. And what do your local employees, if you have, for example, a, a, a facility, a, a Toyota plant or a, a, a Microsoft facility, what, what do they say about the people who are working there? Talk to, the, talk to business and say, what is the satisfaction rate? And that's, these are questions you can ask. And let me tell you what one employer did, a fellow who uh, uh, Sarah knows well, and it's a huge company, Boeing Company. Uh, they have over 150,000 employees, but they have engineers from 140 schools. What they did at Boeing, Rick Stevens, who's their senior vice president in charge of human resources, he looked at the evaluations the, at Boeing of the employees from these 140 schools and said, okay, how have these students done? How have these graduate engineers done? And then he went back and they did a, an analysis of the schools. He hasn't made it public, but he then, they then advised each of the institutions how the graduates were doing. And he said there were a lot of surprises there as to which institution provided better graduates, graduate engineers. 
Now, I'm not sure you can do that, but it goes to the question, it's the ultimate in outcomes. What kind of a job is the school doing? You are funding these places. You have the right to ask, what's the product? What's the outcome? I asked Dan for a chance to come back. I, I'd, I'd like to keep things to three, but Art just mentioned something. A lot of campuses are very good at self-reporting outcomes. And my, my advice to you is um, there are plenty of instruments out there that can be good at any campus. Do not let them self-report. Always ask for that neutral third-party assessment. Jeff is giving me a sign. It's a very subtle one. It says stop. stop on it. <laughs> <laughs> and so with that, we are going to stop. I am going to urge you to take a look at uh, Alex Higher Education Model Legislation at www.alec.org. Org. Um, I think the accountability bill, which you will find there, is right on point when we talk about uh, outcomes, when we talk about remediation, when we talk about uh, teaching loads, when we talk about general education. Uh, I hope also that you will find those evaluation forms in front of you and fill them out, and that uh, you will also take a look at uh, whatwillthelearn.com, which is the uh, website of the American Council of Trustees and Alumni looking at general education, graduation rates, and costs at institutions across the country. And with that, I want to thank my panelists, and I want to thank all of you for your spectacular questions. And I want to thank Lumina for making this workshop possible. So thanks again.